Well, as you can see, we're just taking it easy and lounging around. And with me, Antonio Hiya. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, honey? Long time since Hotel Babylon. I know. I taught this guy to do uh, a little Dutch real rendition quickly. Go on. Oh, no. It's something like, like that. that, something like that. Now listen, you were sensational just there on the catwalk. Well, you know, I have I have a great respect for models and what they do as, as artists. So in order to, you know, to sort of pay homage to them and get a chance to do it, I had to try my best to give 100%. Try your best? You, you, mate, you were the top dog there. And have some fun, you know, and, and really because I really support the designer, I was I wouldn't have come. How did over. you meet him? Well, I was shopping in Covent Gardens and where his shop is, and and a friend of mine recommended that I see his clothes because they were so great, and and we hit it off, and there we kept the relationship. And he yeah. called me and said, "I'm doing this fashion show. Would you come over and walk the catwalk for me?" And, and said, you did it superbly. How long have you had the hair like this? Well, about a month. I did a TV show uh, for Europe called LA Heat. It's syndicated here, and. I was playing a fashion designer, and, good, good. Um, and I wanted to do something striking for the character. Well, it's certainly striking. And so I went blonde, and I've done my roots have, one time since. Have you? Well, I have to ask you, how do you remain so cool after all these years? Oh, God. I What's don't your know. top tip at being Mr. Cool? The, the top tip is to have inner peace, you know, and then if it shows on the outside, you're really doing it. You it's know? got nothing to do with being absolutely, completely funky. Well, I think that can help, that can help because I think uh, an essence of cool to be funky, you've got to be cool. And to be an actor, you have to have an inner calm within you. Even for all the wild characters I play, there's an inner calm inside which helps support that. Yeah? So you've donned, or you've got rid of the leather jacket that you always, always used to wear on Selsky and Hutch. Yeah. Have you still got it? Where's that? Where's that? I don't know. I don't know if, if I've had it. I don't know if I could fit it, you know. Oh, I, sure. Look I at you. A, you a look kilo as good now. <laughs> no, you look as good now as you did all those years ago. Do you, do you sort of get annoyed with the fact that people still refer to you as Huggy Bear? Or is it, do you have a little bit of love still left for that little oh, character? Of course, I'll always love. It was a special time, a special four years of my life. We had done some really extraordinary things that sort of stand the test of time. And, and it's wonderful to see how much people enjoyed it, even today, by how much they bring it back and, you know, and... and That's and what I was going to say, because there are so many people who still... That is just, you know, I mean, that Huggy Bear character I mean, there's is... like five or six Starsky and Hutch clubs here in London and one yeah. in Cyprus. I mean, it's just phenomenal, the shelf life of that show and, and, and how much they love the characters. So where are you living now? Los Angeles, but um, if and I... And you flew all the way over to little old London to do this specially. I love London. Are you kidding me? What do you like about London? Well, the people, you know, the style, the... the, the... Do you think we're more, st more stylish than L.A.? Yes. Definitely. LA, Good, I like this. LA is, uh, is a, is a, it's a country town, a s sort of, and trying to get sophisticated. But, you know, it has something special. It is LA, but, but I like the world, you know. So do you go shopping in London? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we get a lot of stuff that we don't get back there. And the price is right, and the style is right. So what are you up to these days? Well, I'm... I'm in negotiations with Buena Vista Television and development of a series for myself and uh, we're hoping that uh, we can get it together with a British broadcaster and, uh, you know, and start shooting next year. Take it from there. So what else are you doing while you're in England this time? Are you shooting off again or are you staying around for a bit? Well, I'm going to go off to Cyprus for four days before I go back to Los Angeles just to get some rest and some sun, oh. and some pre-sun before I go to sunny Los Angeles yeah. so I can come back and say I did have a good time and I relaxed and job well done. Good. Well, Antonio, thank you very much. And just give me one tip on being cool. One tip on being cool is find yourself a nice soft pillow and hug it. I'm gonna hug my pillow. Mm. Good night.